Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. I'm so happy to be back after a month of basically being sick. It's the best I've kind of felt in the last two months. I've had this weird coughing thing going on, and while it's still around, I'm hoping that it's minimalized now, that I can just hopefully record not have too much of a huge impact on recording. Because I've done one video, or actually two videos in the last what, two months, which was the Call Me music video, which uh, took forever to do because of the Call Me fit. And then the What's This video, I was actually playing it again. I should have done this, but I'll grab another video. And I'll do it next. Um, today, last time. Got a little back to Last time we played this, we did the dungeon here in Cumber's Room. And we had a good time for the most part, if I recall correctly. This time, I'm thinking we just tackle one of the Millennium Tower, which I think is the final dungeon of the game, because I know there's a post game that we're going to have a lot of fun with. Oh, shiny. Hang grenade. Wait. Earth Angel, huh? Nick should be here. This isn't the tower. I think this could be the tower. Hey, Nick. I think your friend's here. You know this guy, right? Hi, Ichiban. Hey, thanks for all the help. So did you really want to shake Alki's hand that bad? Or was there more to the plan? Yeah, it wasn't about the handshake. That was just stage one, man. Plenty more to come, now that the young master took the bait. Well, I still think stage two is more than a little shaky. Can someone fill me in on what it is already? Okay, so Aoki ordered Sawashiro to kill Masumi Arakawa. Our first move was to tell Aoki there's a recording of him giving that order in the Arakawa family office. What? Is there really? Of course not. Huh? It's bullshit, and he totally knows that. But the beauty of it is, he can't risk ignoring it. Because if there's even a 1% chance it's true, he goes to jail and his whole life goes up in smoke. So now, he has to do a sweep of the captain's office. I'm sure they'll turn the whole Arakawa office upside down looking for it. Not just Sarashiro's. Yeah, plus I told them we were planning to go get the recording. I said we'd do that before the polls close tomorrow. Which means Aoki is going to be desperate to find that data before we do. No doubt he's going to throw some serious manpower at the task. Think of the scene at the Millennium Tower tonight. It's going to be swarming with Omi Yakuza. But then what? Well, they can search all night and of course they won't find shit. But Aoki won't be satisfied. After his minions turn up empty-handed, he's going to send his biggest, baddest dude. Tendo, right? Yep. The guy who killed Arakawa-san. Not to mention he tried to blow us up, too. We would have been screwed if Adachi-san hadn't noticed something was off. Kasuga, we need to go! Huh? Everyone, get out! True. Add that to the pile of reasons to take revenge on Tendo. But what do we do about Aoki? We'll get to him. But he can take a fucking number. Tendo was the highest name on my shit list. You really think he'll show up at the tower? Right now, he's basically the leader of the Tokyo Omi Alliance. So he's desperate for the recording, too. He'll show up when they don't find it. I think it's a solid plan. And besides, does anybody have a better idea? Nope. And I wish I'd come up with this one. What use am I if all the good ideas are coming out of Kasuga's head? I have the same problem. Good plan or not, I wouldn't count on Aoki and Tendo waiting until tomorrow. I think they're gonna come and take care of you first chance they get. In case you forgot, you're on enemy turf here in Kamurocho. <laughs> you set foot outside, and every cat in this town will pounce on you like a mouse. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I've been sitting on my hands so long I'm down to warm up with some cats before I take on the lions. I mean, that's a solid plan and all. 
the will to work. That's got we want right there. Really? I gotta go through the Arakara office with a fine-toothed comb for this shit. Correct. Sounds to me like me and my guys are cleaning up after your mistake. Yes, you are. Do you need every order I give you explained in minute detail? Sorry, I'm not on the same wavelength you and Sawashiro were. <sighs> I'm guessing Kasuga survived after all, huh? That's a loose end I'm actually glad to tie up for you. And this time, I'll make sure it never unravels. Any objections? Oh, now you want to be careful and not say naughty stuff out loud. Worried there's a recorder nearby, eh? Huh? Smart man. I'll just say one thing. Yeah? If anything ever happens to me, your little Omi Alliance Fun Patrol is dead in the water. This castle you've built is on pillars of sand. Without me, those pillars all turn to mud. The same can't be said of you. I can replace you in a heartbeat, as many times as I need. We are not on equal ground, Tendo. <laughs> what? Think I don't know any of this? You should realize, though, we're just getting started. The Tokyo Omi Alliance is gonna earn your respect. Trust me. You can earn it by just focusing on the job you have now, protecting me, which is in your best interest anyway. See how these things go together? As long as I'm your top priority, I'll continue to seek your services. It's that simple. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But Aoki-sensei... What is it? Someday, I think you're gonna see the value of our services. You'll come around. That's very, uh, interesting play. Hmm. How much it really is flash. No wonder nobody slugs around here. We're up to million territory, the enemy turned the corner. What do we do to help? <laughs> Don't worry. They didn't friend it mine in the safe but we can stay. <laughs> really? Nice to go in. Where? Yeah. Well of course it's a bar. Go in this new Serrano bar. Okay. Hmm? Shiny. That's Hey, Mako-chan! Damn. Father Time has not been kind to you. He was a real jerk to you too, Adachi-san. It's been a while. Who's this? The rarest of creatures. A detective you can actually trust. His name's Makoto Date. So you're Ichiban Kasuga. <laughs> the rumors are true. You got eyes just like he did back in the day. Like who did? An old friend. Nobody you would know. Anyway, I hear you're trying to keep a low profile. Well, you couldn't ask for a better spot. Go on, get some rest. It's late. You sure? Any friend of Adachi Senpai is a friend of mine. From what I've heard, you've got a big day tomorrow. Do what you need here to rest up. Wow. Thanks a bunch, man. Take care. Appreciate it, Mako-chan. Sorry to get you wrapped up in this. 
This is a walk in the park compared to the shenanigans I usually get roped into. <laughs> Good luck, Ichiban Kasuga. You too! He seemed awkward about that. You mean awkward for Ichiban? Hmm. Good morning, Ichiban. TV says the polls are already open. I wonder if anyone's put a check next to your name yet. Oh, I'm sure someone's done that as a joke by now. <laughs> or a pity vote. Hey, Ichiban. Hmm? We're ready to go when you are. The Millennium Tower is standing there like a big old beacon. Of course, once you step inside, remember, that's an act of war against Ryo Aoki and the Omi Alliance. Yep, if we go in, there's no going back. You probably better tie up any loose ends first, Ichiban. Oh boy, if you've never played... <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the point of no return is what we are currently at. If you've never played an RPG before, especially a JRPG, this is where we're at. Which is, no matter what you do, you advance the story farther, you cannot go back. So, let's see how we get our party crew. 62, 60, uh, we got the Itchy Bomb playing his original role at a 62. Yes, he has a lot of stuff that could be improved, and I may look at that when we do this, because I know a lot of his skills deal with his attack. But 62, 31 hero, that's not bad, we can live with that. Ir is this Irichon? Irichon, yeah, Irichon, Max Bond, level 61, Clark, level 28. One of our main damage deal is a physical damage, I can't complain. I'm gonna probably end up changing her for the 15th time because I don't know what I want to do with her. And I think the best play is if I switch her to a healer at this point. Because she has a higher natural magic stance. I mean, look at that. The 40 difference between her and Eerie. Um, level 60, level 31 Hitman. Overall, probably my favorite character that we have. Because he's so fitting anywhere he goes. Uh, people we haven't talked about. Zal, level 30 Gangster. He's he's there. He's a good backup. But not someone I kind of want immediately. Adachi is the greatest tank we could possibly have. But other than that, he doesn't really do a whole lot much besides crowd control. And it's kind of weird on a JRPG, not so much a regular MMO. And then we got our healer, who is the only one who's not 60. I kind of want a second healer with our team comp, so I'm going to probably switch Eerie to healer. But Nanba... Overall, there's a lot of damage for magic. I mean, he has the highest magic by far. He's only level 24 this kid. So... That's kind of where we're at. And... Of course, at this point of the game, I can do kind of whatever. Because I know we have all the part-time hero stuff that I probably won't even touch, ultimately. Because they're not... Yeah, but it's not. No, I've no interest in that. The side quest. Oh, pass. Um, sub stories. We do have 18 left, and I think that may be our priority before we finish the game. Is let's go ahead and finish as many of these as we can. I mean, we still have. 18, a lot from the early game, and I think a lot of these just unlocked, including, uh, including the Dragon Cart quest, they don't officially open until you get here. So, I think the plan is, we're going to do a couple of these side stories, and then we're going to move on to Button Winning Tower, so we're probably taking potentially like a 5 episode, oh god, 18, we're talking about more like 10, we do 2 episode stories a night an episode of this, and then we're attacking the Wave Tower. So guys, if 
you're not interested in sub stories, take a 10 episode break from me when it comes to this game. And then we will rock this game like a hurricane. <laughs>